Well, good morning, everyone. This is CG. And today's video, or actually this morning's video, is going to be focusing on uh, tech related issues and tips. So, I'd like to start off with, uh, with our today's sponsor. <laughs> I always like saying that. But, of course, it's coffee. It's early in the morning. For some, others, it's, it's just beginning their work day. So, let's start off by having a drink of coffee. Of course, made by yours truly. I didn't get this from no Dunkin' Donuts, anything like that. So, all right. Had a little fun and interesting experience yesterday. Uh, of course, with the post Black Friday sales and all that good stuff. Went to the local computer store and picked up a decent graphics card. I would say decent. Others may vary in opinion, but for the price, you can't beat it. So, here is the graphics card that I picked up yesterday from Courtesy Micro Center. I don't know if you can see it. It was on clearance. The price here is $38.96. Yeah, $38.96. If I had it paid for it brand new, I would have to pay for it between $53.99 and $56.99. Okay, so that's the graphics card that I picked up yesterday. I needed to help out with the graphics on my computer and I'm currently using a HP XW8600 workstation it's dual Xeon processor 2.6 gigahertz it's a quad core I have 6 gigs of RAM 256 or 250 gigabyte hard drive not solid state but just a regular mechanic hard drive so. I just wanted something a little bit better in terms of the graphics to help with the ratings, which I'll talk about in a minute. Okay, but let's start off with the tech tip of today, and that's when installing HDMI and enabled graphics cards or HDMI capable audio throughput. One thing to keep in mind if you want to use your onboard audio, which took me almost completely all yesterday evening to figure that out after doing a little research online and it's very simple when you put this graphics card into your computer it's going to disable your onboard audio which I didn't know about until I researched it and I'm yesterday I'm going crazy just trying to get my onboard sound to work or well, you may say well CG why do you want to use the onboard audio HDMI is better true but here's the thing: not everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, has HDMI audio or HDMI TVs and um, receivers. So, which in this case I don't have one, so I had to revert back to the onboard audio. And it's very simple. All you have to do is go into the BIOS, look for the integrated audio feature, make sure it's enabled, not disabled but enabled and also you may need to disable the high definition audio as they call it on the graphics card within the operating system because if you want to st <clears throat> still continue to use the onboard audio you may have to disable that uh, feature on the graphics card and just use the video which I had to do yesterday so I just want to give you that as a tech tip for this morning if you happen to purchase a car like this or any HDMI card uh, just keep that in mind just to save you a little bit of time and embarrassment if you're on the field if you're working on a client's computer and you're upgrading their video card <clears throat> and if you run into the same issue that I did yesterday even though luckily this is my own computer so I had time to figure it out but if you're on the field and you, you're asked to install a graphics card or to help out assist a client with installing theirs and they have HDMI and they can't get their onboard sound to work you need to go into the BIOS enable it back just so you can run your onboard audio in parallel with the high definition audio that's on the graphics card which it does work if your monitor has built-in speakers and a built-in either DVI or HDMI because I had I had the audio stream through the HDMI via the DVI 
adapter on my KVM switch, which worked out, but I didn't want the sound to come through it. So that's another reason why I wanted to put it through the onboard audio. And I went from this graphics card. Let me just open up the old graphics card that's I put in the box for storage. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to put this in another system or just sell it for a couple of bucks. And that is, and I love this graphics card, it's a NVIDIA GeForce 7600 GS. It has dual, dual DVI, and it looks like in the middle either some kind of composite video or S-video output for, I guess, your high-definition video. But this doesn't have audio throughput, so that's good in one way. It's a DDR2, <clears throat> I think 256 megs. Uh, video RAM or graphics RAM. Nice heatsink fan. So decent video card. I'm gonna put this back in the box. And I'm just gonna talk to you guys also with this graphics card. Um, I was a little, I would say, I would say disappointed, but I was kind of su surprised, being that is it's a DDR3 and it's a two gig, two gigabit memory I should get a better ratings for Windows but I got I managed to get it back to where I had it before with this graphics card this is a DDR2 standard this is DDR3 I had to overclock and which is nice about this particular graphics card it does have a built-in software called Afterburner <coughs> excuse me that you can use to overclock your graphics to um, go from the standard to much more higher performance, but just be careful when using it because you're if you're streaming uh, YouTube high definition clips and you're on a website and your screen happens to black out, there you, there you go. It just happened to me this morning. Now, as far as my opinions about the card, mm, I'm not disappointed. You know, it's all right, but it's a step in the next direction or I guess next level but I mean for $38.96 from paying the $55.99 if, if it was brand new at Micro Center I say it's a decent deal and a good price but and also too when you buy stuff from a computer store like Micro Center make sure if you can open it in the store make sure they have all the parts inside because sometimes when they get returns, people, they'll buy it. They'll say something is wrong with the card, either because they don't know how to configure it right. But then they don't give you or put back what they bought. They don't bring back as it is when they bought it. In other words, they don't put like the accessories, the software, etc., etc. And then you buy it, you only get the video card, but no, no brackets which luckily mine did come with the brackets and and the software which is on the bottom so I was pretty lucky in that regard but if you're gonna buy clearance items refurb items make sure they have all the stuff that's inside of it before you buy and if they give you a problem just say okay thanks put the card down go to another store or look for something else that's well within your budget so that's just another tidbit and tech tip for this morning. If you have any questions or want to rate and comment, please do so. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to pause this video for now and I uh, hope you folks have a good Monday, good day. I know it's Monday, but hey, we're all in this together. We all got to eat and survive while trying to maintain the 9 to 5. All right, take care, folks, and catch you later.